Hey everybody, Ben Lieber here live from the 2020 NFL Scouting Combine here in Indianapolis. And once again, it is the opportunity to watch all the young college players come into the NFL. Who's it going to be? Vikings have picked number 25. We get a lot of reaction. We have given you exclusive content for Vikings Entertainment Network and Vikings.com with NFL experts talking all things CBA, talking all things storylines, and also NFL draft experts, because guess what? That's what most of you are ready to hear and want to hear who the Vikings are going to take at 25. A lot of experts from NFL Network have joined our program here at Vikings.com, so you need to stay tuned. But you know what? You can't do anything Vikings related without at least hearing from the general managers at every NFL franchise. And we had a chance to sit down and watch general manager Rick Spielman in his opening comments from the 2020 NFL Combine. Just uh, assessing where we're at, um, you know, last year we did have a good season. We ultimately didn't reach our goal, but you can see the progress that uh, we made from the year before. I do believe we have a very strong foundation, not only with this roster, but also with this coaching staff. Uh, the coaches have always done a great job uh, developing young talent, and I know we have a lot of tough roster decisions to make with where our cap situation is right now, but and as much as we'd like to keep everyone, I know that's not always going to be the case. But I do know with the, uh, the strong coaching staff we have, under Coach Zimmer and even some of the coaching staff changes that he made this year, that we have a lot of young guys in the pipeline when their opportunities come up, um, they're able to step in and we don't lose a beat. You know, there's rumors about his happiness with your, your football team. What What is his character now with your team and your appreciation for him maybe at this stage? No, Stefan last year had probably his most productive year, and he's a young receiver we just extended. And he's a, not only a major part of our offense and a major part of our organization winning games, but he's also uh, does a lot of things for this organization off the field as well. So, um, you know, there is no reason or the rumors or whatever you're talking about to, to, to anticipate that Stefan Diggs is not going to be a Minnesota Viking. And when you have the sum of the offensive talent that we have with him and Thielen together and with Rudy and Irv Smith and with uh, Delvin Cook and Madison, um, we have a pretty good uh, support staff around that or a support cast around our quarterback. And that was General Manager Rick Spielman here with his opening comments at the 2020 NFL Scouting Combine. And let's get some immediate reaction. And to do that, let's bring in a couple guests here. Courtney Cronin, ESPN.com, Eric Smith, Vikings.com. And Courtney, I guess we'll start with you. What did you take, take away from Rick's comments? Well, my first big takeaway is obviously Stephon Diggs is very much a part of the plans for 2020 with this team. There have been trade rumors. There have been rumors that Stephon's unhappy. There have been deleted, allegedly deleted Instagram posts and social media things. This is rumor season, Ben, and we know that this stuff comes up at the NFL Combine and coaches, general managers are going to be asked about what's happening in the inner workings of their team. And for Rick to go and say that there's really no reason to not think Stephon Diggs is going to be a Minnesota Viking is exactly what you expect. The Vikings have all the leverage here. If there was even the possibility of a trade scenario yeah. or Stephon not necessarily wanting to be in Minnesota. And we met with him yesterday, or we met with him as beat writers in a separate session, and he was asked, has Stephon asked you specifically for a trade and he said no he has not talked to his agent now right. that was not directly answering whether Diggs told Spielman or anybody else whether he wants a trade so there is a little bit of wiggle room you could look at that there but anyways nonetheless Spielman closed the door on that for now I mean there's certainly every player is always available for the right price but this doesn't seem like this is going to come to fruition he at least for now kind of kind of tempered those those conversations and that idea that they're looking to actively move uh Stefan Diggs now Eric what did you take away from the whole conversation yeah I think my main takeaway was kind of a, a look into the future a little bit and that's the uh potential of having to make some tough roster cuts here in, in the next month or so as, as we kind of go into free agency you know I asked Rick I was like how do you separate the emotion from that and not look at this from an emotional eye with players that you've been around for the potential of multiple years and he said it's tough. You know, there are players who have been here for a while, and maybe they're not going to be here in 2020. And, you know, he said that's part of his job. He takes, you know, he knows the spotlight is on him for that responsibility, and ultimately it comes down to him. 
Um, so, yeah, that's something to watch in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, and you have more than a dozen free agents, pending free agents, Correct, going right. into the 2020 league yeah. year, which is less than three weeks away now. So this is the time where you anticipate those conversations happening and them trying to figure out before you get to free agency yeah. what your cap situation is going to look like so you can be active in getting new guys, potentially new talent in, uh, that's not on your team right now. It's amazing the things and the conversations that can happen over a few beers at the end, at the end of the night. So, so that was that was the conversation. That was the press conference with Rick Spielman. Now, why not let's let's hear from our head coach and see what Mike Zimmer had to say. It's good to get here to the combine. Uh, you know, it's good to start uh, the val- evaluation of a lot of these these young players. Um, excited to try to improve our football team this this uh, off season and and get back to work, but. Uh, We've got a good team, and we'll keep uh, keep grinding away. Honestly, we're always trying to find better players at all the positions, and uh, you know, um, every team has certain holes. But you know, it's not necessarily in the draft. We can take care of those things through free agency. We can take care of them, um, you know, with trades or any any other combination of things. Um, Everson Griffin is really important to the defensive line as a whole. How far along is the organization with negotiations? You know, ever since ever since a terrific person for us. Um, I think our, our situation is the right one for him. And uh, we expect him to be back. I think he wants to be back. And so, you know, those kind of things usually work, work its way out. Well, we heard from Rick Spielman earlier. You just listened to Mike Zimmer give his press conference statements here at the 2020 NFL Combine. And Courtney, we'll start with you again. What did you take away from Mike? Well, like we talked about with Rick Spielman, this team has a lot of tough roster decisions to make. They need to get under the cap, and they did that last week. Like I reported with Everson Griffin voiding the final three years of his contract, um, that gave the Vikings some wiggle room. It kind of brought them back down to square one. I mean, they certainly have more work to do, but we now know that Everson is headed to be a free agent. Now, will he remain in Minnesota? Mike Zimmer said that he expects Everson Griffin to return, that this is the best fit for him from an off-the-field and on-the-field standpoint. You think about it. This is a team that drafted him. He's been here for a decade. Um, I can't see him going anywhere else, especially at this stage of his career. He's going to be 33 this season. He knows his defense inside and out. And even at that age, as we know, pass rushers, especially defensive ends, tend to get better with age and more, you know, they can maintain that explosiveness. We saw Griffin doing that throughout the 2020 yeah. seat, throughout the 2019 season. And I think that's something where this is really the best fit for him to remain in this defense. He has not lost a step of the athleticism, mm-hmm. the speed. He's as explosive as he's ever been. And he's a guy who can get you eight sacks a year so I think that from the fit standpoint Griffin and his representation who Mike Zimmer said they met with at the combine on Tuesday they realize it just as much as the Vikings do that keeping Everson here within this system will only help prolong his career imagine this defense without him still some star players on this defense but there needs to be some verbal juice and I think sometimes when when every team goes through the ebbs and flows of the game, you need that one player that's going to step up, get guys riled up, and get a, and get some fire and some and some intensity going in them. He's the guy that's always been there. So I think he's got intangibles through the roof still, and it'll be really fun to have him back. And hopefully he can he can close his career as a Minnesota Viking. Eric, what did you take away? Yeah, I think uh, with Coach Zimmer, he talked a lot about the offensive scheme and how that kind of pertains going forward in 2020. Um, you know, the, the scheme is going to be the same. Gary Kubiak is the offensive coordinator, and, you know, his fingerprints were all over the offense last year in 2019. And with him on board and with Kirk coming back, you know, the expectation that Zimmer has for 2020 is high. I mean, I think that was made clear today. You know, with the skilled playmakers around Kirk, with, you know, Diggs and Thielen and Cook and Rudolph and, you know, Irv Smith, you know, the expectation that Zimmer seems to have is that this should be a prolific offense in 2020. He did say that the offensive line still needs to improve, you know, so that's probably an area to watch here in the next couple months with uh, the free agency and the draft. Um, but, yeah, I think that, you know, the, the Vikings have been a, a defensive-minded team for the last six seasons, and I think maybe this is the year where we finally see that transition where it's an offensive-based team and, and, and they're expected to, to score. These guys are going to go into OTAs in the spring light years ahead of where they were last year or if they had to start all over again. So I love the idea of consistency. I think it is important. So it's a good thing that uh, that the Kubiaks are here and the offensive system is going to remain the same. Uh, Courtney, thank you so much for your contributions. Eric, thank you as well. And, uh, and hey, 
We're just getting started here at the NFL 2020 NFL Combine. And as we take a look at the Combine workout schedule, let's keep in mind this year is new. A lot of these times are in prime time on NFL Network. It's the first time they want to get more viewers. So on Thursday, it's going to be the tight ends and quarterbacks and wide receivers from 3 to 9 p.m. Central. Friday, we've got the special teams, the offensive line, and the running backs. And Saturday, the defensive line and the linebackers. And then again, on Saturday, Sunday, we're going to have the defensive backs, which, hey, I think everybody in Vikings land is going to be paying attention to some corners and safeties in this draft, high probability at pick number 25 to look at some of those guys. So keep that in mind from 1 to 6 p.m. Central NFL Network on Sunday. It's prime time. It's the 2020 NFL Scouting Combine from Indianapolis. Well, that'll do it for Ben Lieber here at the 2020 NFL Scouting Combine in Indianapolis. Thank you all so much for tuning in to Vikings.com. Thank you all and everybody at Vikings Entertainment Network for all the support and all the great content that we have given you. Now, don't forget, next Wednesday, we're going to have live reaction. Kevin Seifert, Courtney Cronin, Paul Allen, and myself will all be talking about the reactions from this particular combine next Wednesday. So tune in live. We'll see you then.